Hey, and uh, welcome to day eight. Uh, today is October 8th. Um, and today I've kind of had to reflect on how to manage my recovery when things change. Um, the last week of doing these journal entries have more or less kind of just fit into a schedule that I've created. Uh, I've been able to schedule them in and know what I was doing um, and nothing really out of the norm has created a hiccup in it. Uh, but today I had a team member out sick with COVID potentially uh, and so I'm having to go in and cover shift for them last minute which means like everything kind of got uh, tossed around you know my training run uh, when I usually record this video just even my meals um, having to plan I had gotten to work this morning not thinking I would need to work the evening shift and so my day just kind of got tossed up into the air which is totally fine and I'm kind of used to that with working in the service industry. But still, it's always been hard for my eating disorder because so much of it is feeling like I can manage my recovery if uh, I can control my day or I know what my day is gonna look like. And that kind of bleeds into also, I think the anxiety um, and having anxiety, you know, if you just feel like you know what's gonna happen and you wake up and you can plan out your day or you have an idea, it's really hard to learn to be flexible and to adjust to it. And there's this feeling of like, well, I know that I could be okay today if this is when I have my meals and this is when I eat. And so that's that like spontaneous eating, the having that random croissant or having a bigger lunch or having someone surprise you with brownies from home and those things are really hard to make adjustments for because you just like you didn't calculate them for for them and all of a sudden there's this anxiety because it feels like this threat of like oh my god like I wasn't planning on eating a brownie today but what if I do eat a brownie today does that mean that I don't care that I'm giving up and what if it's just one brownie or two brownies or three brownies or four or five or the whole plate and you know it just can like all of a sudden feel so much bigger than you anticipated for the day and so like now that I've, you know, like had to figure this out for several years, I'm, I feel like I have more of a success rate when plans change and I'm having to learn to adapt or I've learned a little bit better how to make adjustments in my schedule to not feel like, well, now that I'm working this evening shift, like I'm not even running, which means that my training schedule for the first week of my training is gonna be messed up, which means I'll never be able to do it. And then like, who am I to think that I could actually go back into training? And it's just like this like spiral of negative talk and doubt and, and feeling like things are all of a sudden just so much bigger than just like a hiccup in a schedule. And that is just like crazy to me that it can feel even after 13 years, like so overwhelming to have a change in plans. Even when like I change plans all the time, like on my days off and um, when I'm with people, like I am usually pretty chill and really flexible, but it's like with an eating disorder, I'm able to be chill and flexible at some things. Um, but when I'm really trying to like affect change or say like, okay, for these next 90 days, I'm going to do this and it's going to be this way. I'm going to eat these things. I'm going to exercise this way. I'm going to have this much sleep and not affording for flexibility or changes in that. Like, what if I can't get it to an entry? Like, does that mean that I failed at it? Or what if it's late at night? Or I don't know. It's like actually pausing to say what does the flexibility offer um what are the parameters if if i do a daily if i do an entry the next day reflecting on yesterday does that still count does it still feel okay or with running and training i've you know i've, I've gotten better like well if it's a rest day then i move it around and i change the schedule um or with work schedule things like okay if i can't eat this then or i can't meal prep or make a dinner for myself then like what can i make um, from what's already in my fridge to make it work. Um, so learning to be adaptive. I know that I used to be really mean and with my ex about those kind of changes and, and they would really spiral and it would be hard for me to be present in it and just like honestly like take a moment and pause. So when I found out that I needed to work this evening schedule, I was at work, but I thankfully can walk home. So I just decided I was gonna walk home, take the 30 minutes, make sure I had a meal for my shift, make sure that I was feeling ready and had a plan for my training schedule and I could do the um, 
uh, daily entry and then also just like take a moment to breathe um, and acknowledge that like it's still hard for me after so many years like it's still hard for me to make adjustments when I feel like I'm actually really trying to control the situation so it also gave me a pause to think about like what am it what is it that I'm still trying to control because if I'm still trying to control my recovery then it's not going to last very long. I've got to be able to like, be more honest with it and be able to respond with less rigidity um, and like force recovery. It's got to be more natural and be more human and a little bit messier. So that's for today.